What up everyone is going so in this video we're going to be discussing about what are exceptions and how do you handle exceptions in Dart particularly. So what do you, what do you think are exceptions? So let's assume that you have a number 1000 and you want to assume that you're going to divide that by 0. Is that even possible? Not at all. You cannot divide a number by 0 in any programming language. So what happens when you do that? Don't you have to let the user know that it's not possible? Well exceptions are going to be doing that for us. I have the slides here. I'm going to be taking you guys through the slides and also talking about how do you handle and throw exceptions in Dart particularly. There are a lot of important concepts because it's going to be very much encouraged throughout the Dart programming that you throw exceptions wherever required and that's what you're going to be seeing in this video. Let's begin. Alright, to begin with exceptions are primarily used to indicate that the program that you have written is not able to perform the desired actions that is requested by us so in say a normal happy flow of a program uh, it should be able to divide any number by any number but like i told you in the example thousand by zero is not possible so what do you do in that scenario you are going to throw an exception saying that this is not possible by the program so we're going to terminate it here so that's the main use of an exception in dart and you're going to be seeing about what is the use of an exception here just like i told you if you want to divide a number by zero and not just this this example it could be any example you could you would want to uh, multiply a thousand by uh, infinity so that's also going to be possible right so all of these are going to result in an exception which the program is going to throw during the runtime so that it will let the user know that there has been some flow of a program that is not being requested or that cannot be handled by Dart. How do you throw an exception? It's very simple. Just use the keyword throw and to the right I've shown you an example. So if you want to divide 1000 by 0, you can just do throw integer division by 0 exception. So these are predetermined exception by uh, Dart. So there are a lot of predetermined exceptions we'll be talking about towards the end of this video. So when you do this throw integer division by 0 exception, the, it's going to throw it back to the user with the same name and also some message like I've put in the left one. Do not divide any number by zero. So that's the message that you're going to pass. And this is going to be making it easier for the user to understand that the denominator has turned out to be zero and the program cannot handle that. Now, now we understood how to throw an exception. But what if there is multiple different applications or modules or programs that are continuously throwing exceptions? Dart encourages uh, anybody to throw exceptions because in that way, we can know what happened at that point. So when, when Dart itself encourages that, you still have to have a mechanism to catch an exception. Now, there, there are a lot of different ways that Java or Python does this. But in Dart, we are going to be using the usual try catch finally. So try catch finally is a block of code which will actually be doing the work for us by handling the exceptions. To the right, I again, I have a simple block where I have written try catch of E and the finally block. So let's go to Dart pad and just take a look at this. So this is, a, this is my main block here. So I'm going to be creating my first try block. Just a try off should be enough. Now this is the block where all our me method is going to go into. So this might throw an exception or this might not throw an exception. So let's do something like this. Let's do 1000 by 0. So when you do that, it's going to obviously throw an exception, right? So how do you catch that exception? Just put catch off E and come and this method block is now going to be caught here so every time you put a try there should be a catch or a finally try cannot be there by itself so when you do something like a try make sure that you also put a catch here so now you're going to catch this exception and print this exception so let's say that thousand by zero is going to throw a, a integer division by zero exception we're going to catch that in our variable e and print it here now, these are the two most basic ones but what do you want to do once the exception is caught now let's put the finally block now the finally block will execute either if the exception is caught or if the exception is not caught meaning that if for example the number is thousand by one this this block won't be executed right because this is a normal division and no exception is going to be raised so what happens is that once the try block is executed it still goes to the finally block Let's say that there is zero here and, and the exception is raised. It goes from try to catch and again to the finally. So what exactly does finally do is that it's going to get executed neither of the scenarios where exception is raised or not raised. So 
we're gonna just print that I'm going in the finally block and that's it so so what happens is that when you print thousand by zero it's not throwing an exception rather it's just printing the infinity but what I want to do is that if the denominator is zero I want to throw an exception so I'll just do this I will just throw integer division by zero all right so what I've done is I'm just throwing an exception just this is going to be the integer division by zero exception so it's going to print infinity which i don't want to but again i'm going to throw the exception here it's being caught in the catch block finally the file is also printed let's do this just now remove the throw integer division by zero exception and just print this alone now you'll see that catch block is not getting executed but still the finally block is getting executed either of the scenarios the final block still gets executed because it doesn't matter every time you have a catch try catch block the finally is going to be present and it's going to be get ex getting executed uh, either way. So that's the use of the try, catch and finally in Dart. And that's how you catch and throw exceptions, particularly in Dart. All right, so the final slide, uh, the mostly used exceptions and errors are what I've given here. You can still create your own exceptions and your own errors. The mostly used exceptions and errors are actually given here. You can still create your own errors. You can create your own exceptions. And these are called as uh, default. These are called as uh, user-defined exceptions, which are actually pretty common in any programming languages. Let's take it for some other day, but this is the basics of exceptions and errors and how do you catch these exceptions, particularly in Dart. Time for looking at our uh, summarization. All right, so we did learn about exceptions. We learned about how do you throw and catch exceptions, particularly in Dart. Very, very useful, useful concept because that encourages you to throw exceptions whenever it's applicable. So it's going to be important that you know how to handle that properly and also how to structure the program properly in such a way that exception handling is properly done. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, you know what to do, smash that like and also subscribe button. Alright, so time to jump into our next video. Let me meet you there. Until then, have a peace out. Have a good